Good morning. Good morning. We are walking today from Los Arcos to Viana. Viana, which is, I think we said about 17 kilometers? No, 18 um, and a half. something. That's 11 miles. <clears throat> but it's not a full stage. If you look at the fire book, it's Hold on, Sesame Street. It's almost a full stage. Seven miles short of a full stage. Seven miles or seven miles. Dollars? Miles. Why are you talking to miles? I don't know. Those are our people. It's confusing. And um, what we're doing is the next few days, six stages in the Byerly book, we've broken up into seven stages to have a few shorter days because 17 miles is just not good for us. It's a lot. Um, especially because we do have, of course, it's hilly, hilly terrain. It's the Camino. It's always hilly. But um, it's just too much for us. So we're breaking it up. It does mean we continue to get new faces, lose some of the faces we've been enjoying the company of. But it's part of keeping ourselves healthy. Well, and it also means we get to find new people and we get to find new stories to tell. Absolutely. So uh, that kind of brings us to what we're going to talk about today and tomorrow is why are you walking the Camino, Michelle? For the adventure, hang out with you. I How about you? I'm walking the Camino because you are. <laughs> no, uh -huh. no, it's not true. If you followed us for long, you know that we enjoy taking adventures and daydreaming and doing all the things that we love to do. I'm checking things off our bucket list. Our bucket list. Bucket list, that's what I just said. And. Uh, so we've kind of divided people on the Camino into four categories. So we think that people are walking the Camino because of daydreaming like or us. adventuring. People walk the Camino for diet, which I don't know how successful they are. I tried that a long time ago and I know it doesn't work, but I still daydream about dieting. They walk for divorce, which doesn't necessarily mean divorcing a partner. It could mean retiring, job, divorcing their job looking for whatever's next in their life, mm -hmm. the next stage, and they walk for divinity. That spiritual reason that many are here. So, so we're day, gonna talk to people about it. Daydreaming, diet, divinity, and divorce. Let's see where people fall. Where do you fall? Leave us something down in the comments below. If you're gonna walk the Camino, if you wanna walk the Camino, out of those categories, what would you pick? Would you pick something different? Or if you got something different, Let's just make go. sure it starts with the letter D. Oh, jeez. Vamos. Sometimes you wonder, wow, are we really the first people that left this morning? Where are all the pilgrims? Then you look back. Today's Camino pro tip is... Don't forget, you're on holiday as well as on a pilgrimage. If you watched our 2019 Camino, you saw that I had a breakdown and was in the hospital. And that's when we learned, or I should say we were reminded that you're on holiday. And what's your favorite saying, Brian? Pain is inevitable on the Camino, but suffering is optional. Don't choose to suffer. So take rest days and don't carry so much in your pack carry a day pack if you can ship your pack ahead if you're having a bad day yeah don't if you want to have something so you can have water but ship your hat pack uh, ship your pants billy you can ship your pants too i can't wait to ship my pants dad 
I just shipped my pants and it's very convenient. Very convenient. Every other day or every tough day or do it all the time and don't don't try to do outrageous amounts of miles. Enjoy the villages that you're in. You're on holiday. Here's what it comes down to. The true pilgrim is a myth. He's a fantasy. She. <laughs> she. If you're on pilgrimage, if you're on the Camino, you're a true pilgrim. And that doesn't matter if you're on a bike or a horse or a foot or a scooter. Or you're or in a, a taxi for a minute. <laughs> You know what, if a medieval pilgrim had been offered a ride on the back of a cart, I am sure that they would have taken it. Absolutely. So when the taxi or the bus pulls over to pick you up, go for it that day. And don't worry about what anybody else says. In the end, you do you. It's your Camino. We are almost to the high point of the day, we think. We're not sure exactly where the high point. Right there behind Michelle. Somewhere soon. It has been cloudy, as you can see. I'm wearing a jacket. Uh, we missed the rain. You saw the rain there coming down in the, in the area, but we can just see so much today. We've had a lot of ups and downs today, but they aren't putts because of the views. So we just like look around, it's, it's gorgeous. We saw a guy working in his vineyard. We've got some olives up ahead. I'm gonna have olives in my belly tonight. <laughs> so we gotta go, vamos. What do I have up here? Hola, buenos dias. It's the cameraman. Slacking off on the job, taking a break. How are you feeling today? Muy bueno. You speak English? Si. Good, because that's all I got for you. <laughs> Me too. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great little area. Look at that. Pilgrims leave mementos, maybe in honor of someone, honor their journey, or just to say thank you to the Camino. Are you thankful for the Camino? Today, yes. Today, yes. Every day? No. You leave a little bit of your, I don't know, dirt behind? Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> there you go. Here we have a rock path, which is going to become a road path, which is going to become a dirt path. It goes back up. A little bit of everything today. Current problem, downhill 10% grade. Tomorrow's problem, that is Lagroño in the distance. Yeah, it's not a problem, it's an opportunity, Coleman. <laughs> we are stopping in Viana, which is the next village. So the Camino literally walks right through the middle of this bar. Set up in a little shack on the side of the road. Pastries, cold drinks. Why are you walking the Camino? Uh, we're, I'm doing it for a spiritual reason. Okay. I, I like all the spiritual aspects awesome. of it. And we like a challenge also, um, physical challenge. Yes. So that's basically why he would be doing it. I brought him along. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. But I love the spiritual aspect of it too. It's awesome. wonderful. stage you take a risk so a lot of benefits right because you get to experience new towns uh Lagronia, which is the next big town is so big and energetic and lots going on yeah and that can be a mixed blessing we tr we tried this time staying off stage um we had some good but tonight was a big mess it was so this is the restaurant we wanted to eat dinner at tonight 
if but we're standing as in you front, can see if we're standing in front of it it means it's close because they always have chairs outside especially here in the summertime so um they don't serve dinner on wednesday nights and it's wednesday night we went through at least 10 oh, restaurants yeah that, no menus um, no dinner only pinchos and the pinchos they had were just bocadilla and then um uh not great it's tortilla and bocadilla the yeah. same things we've had all day um we went to a few that said well we serve menu but only until 3 p.m and so we could have had a big lunch we chose not to and said we wanted to have a bigger meal later because we were ready to take a nap and there's the miss uh, a lot of things closed tonight so but we did there's a hotel we ate there well we're gonna hope for a, a better food journey tomorrow we're staying in wine country tomorrow and we're tomorrow going to a wine tour so we better we walk into rioja the wine tour is not until the next day or rest day okay well, we're gonna work but it tomorrow out. we walk we leave navarra and walk into Logroño. so we know the wine's gonna get even better hopefully Sorry. our food situation will improve too we won't melt buenas serras buenas serra good night Hola. Good morning. We are walking today from the small town of Viana all the way to the small town of Navarreta. It's going to be a decent walk. I'm going to be a little sad to just walk through Lagronio without stopping. So we're going to uh, head on and we're going to walk another 13 miles. But guess what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is a rest day Yay. and wineries. Uh, we've got about 21 kilometers to walk today. It's really chilly right now. I'm thinking about putting on my jacket and I never put mine on. We're also enjoying just walking at our pace. We keep meeting new people. We hope to continue to meet, meet new people, maybe meet up with some that we haven't met before, but it's all part of taking it at our own pace. Vamos. Let's go. Cherub of La Rioja. <laughs> now that we have entered La Rioja, the asphalt sidewalk pavement that we're on has no, it's comfortable walking. It's nice to walk on. Has been dyed red in honor of La Rioja's biggest production export, red wine. say thank you to all the vines out there and Rioja region for grapes. These may have come from California, <laughs> but I doubt it. They are tasty, much tastier than the ones that are on the vine because it's a little too early in the season. Logroño is the capital of La Rioja and with 150,000 people or so, it has half of the entire population of the province. The provinces are called autonomous communities because they have their own governments. Um, I, but I feel like it pretty much is like a state government versus the national government, just like in the United States. Many pilgrims choose to take the bus to leave Negroño because once we get out of the main part of town, it becomes very industrial. Only costs a couple of euros. We've been walking for probably two, maybe three kilometers since we left the center of Negroño. And the guidebooks and a lot of the route guides say that this is a really terrible walk. It's very industrial. The outskirts of town as you're leaving Lagronio, take the bus. But the markers tell you to follow a bike path. It's been a really pleasant walk. It's been a path that all the locals are walking. And a lot of trees for shade. 
I've really been enjoying it. You can see industry around, but this is a really nice walk out of town. It has been very nice. Um, and then even after we got really to the edge of town, we're now on, you can see this shared, it's a bike path on one side and a walking path on the other. And there's an island down the middle. It's been a really pleasant walk. It's finally warmed up enough and the sun's out, so we took our jackets off. Yeah, I hope it doesn't warm up too much. And, uh, Let's not get crazy here. <laughs> Okay, vamos. Dime, cuántas veces me volviste de mente. Ahora sin que estoy tan solo no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que las canso, hasta que las canso. Dime, cuántas veces me volviste de mente. Ahora sin que estoy tan solo no es. We are at hotel. Ray Sancho in Navarreta. Once again, we're on the second floor. But this is by far the nicest hotel we've been in so far. Mostly because there's an elevator, which holy moly, yay. And here's our room, room 205. And notice that the room is huge. We can't even have room to separate those two beds so we don't have to lay next to each other. I mean, because there's That's plenty of room for the suitcase. the suitcase. There's a refrigerator to keep our water cold, which means when we walk out of here, we'll have cold water. And there's a ginormous closet right here, but guess what Michelle's gonna do? Not only, not only am I gonna use the bidet, but I'm gonna use the bidet because- and bidet. That's not, not a bidet. bidet, guys. That's a bidet. Not only that, I'm gonna take a bath. And you ready for this? Yeah. I'm gonna shave my legs. Oh, thank <laughs> the God. Sh the showers have been too small to shave my legs. You saw in the last bathroom, I could barely fit in it, let alone lift my leg up somewhere. And at reception, not only did they sell bottle of wines, they sold magnums of wine. They knew we were staying for two nights. I can shave my legs. <laughs> I'm easier to please. I think it's time to turn this camera off. <laughs> So the tunnels were built in the 16th and 17th century when this was a fortress. So that when the city was under siege from Aragon or the other surrounding towns and regions, the people would just retreat into the mountainside and there'd be nobody here. So many of them were connected together. Now they've been mostly closed off and they're used as wine cellars. And uh, well, I know some of the restaurants are actually in the cellars. This is very cool. And the only way you know about them is to ask. Who has wine in it? There's wine in it. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I mean, this one has vinegar. There's no way that's still wine. And the clothes. Wow. How old could this not be? There's those rings on this. Wow. I think quite a few of these are cool. Like oh, sure, the one I tried to touch. You couldn't. Now you see the broken thing. Oh, wow. The one I tried to touch, that. you couldn't pull out. You ready, Brian? The one I touched, you couldn't pull out. That's what she said.